you thought this would be one video. Welcome to part two of the Daily Gas for April 1st, 2024. So as part of uh, April Fool's today, the gas team has been posting a plethora of puzzles to work through. Uh, we worked through the first five, and now we have, I think, five more to finish us off. So the first three puzzles here are a set of gas who. So what is gas who? It is a set of puzzles where we need to gas who set each one. Get it? Anyways, so this is the first of three puzzles, Gas Who number one, by who knows who. Normal 6x6 Sudoku rules apply. Purple lines contain a non-repeating set of consecutive digits in any order. Digits in cells separated by a white dot are consecutive. Digits in cells separated by a black dot have a 1 to 2 ratio. Not all possible dots are necessarily given. Alright, so... 6x6 six six Sudoku rules, we will explain that. Any row, column, or 2x3 thickly outlined box of the Sudoku will contain the digits 1 to 6 once each. These are these purple lines are our Ren band lines. So along the Ren band lines, you must contain a non-repeating set of consecutive digits. So what does consecutive mean? Consecutive means they follow one after the other, like on a number line. So for example, in this case of a four-length um, four length Ren band, you would have the digits maybe one, two, three, four. However, it doesn't matter the order. There is no start or finish or anything like that. It could be two, one, three, four. It could just be one, two, three, four. It doesn't really matter as long as the digits are there and they are not repeating. Then we have that our digits in cells separated by a white dot are consecutive. So consecutive what we just went over. So these two uh, digits here are consecutive to one another. That means they are next to each other on the number line. Same thing here. And then these two digits are in a one to two ratio. That means one digit is twice the value of the other digit. And you're going to see me doing some, uh, some live editing here because I've noticed that the scene is just a tiny bit off. There we go. That looks a uh, that looks a little bit better. Anyways, those are the rules. Let's just jump right into it. All right. So, where where do we even want to start with this? Um, this is definitely going to be two with a one four pair. This can't be one two, so it must be four one. Four is next to either three or five. Not sure which one. Three, five, six, four, five, six. Five, six are the only things that are consecutive. So this must be six, five, four. Four, two. This is going to be one, three. This will be four and three then. Four, three with a three in the corner. This must be three, six, which means this is one, one, two, two, four, just like over here. 4 requires 3 or 5, uh, but 5 can never go in a black dot, so 3, 6. 6, 5 works out perfectly. Then we are missing 1, 2, 2, 4. Not sure which. What are we missing across here? 4, 5. All right, 4, 5. And then 4. This can't be 4. It can't be 3, 6. It must be 1, 2. 1, 2 gives us 3 here, 1 here. We do have some... So, okay, here's the thing. So in any 6x6 six six Sudoku, the boxes will always have row ping, but they won't necessarily have column ping. So we do have column ping here, which is just row ping, by the way. I know that this is 2 because we can't have a repeat along the line, so this can't be double 1. This is 5, 6. And I guess, yeah, okay. 5, 6, I was going to pencil mark the other one, but we know the order 5, 6. Then this must be, this can't be 4 or 2, it can't be 3, 6, so this must be 1, 2, like this. We once again have our, uh, our column ping here, 1, 2, then that means 4, 3, 6, 5, so this is 4, 3, this is 3, this is 4, 3, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5 is possible still, 3, 4, 5, 6, hmm. 
Ah, sorry, of course. 5, 6 gives us 4. 4, 5. 5, 5, 6 gives us 3. Of course, sorry, with our roping here. Or our column ping. Then this is 5, this is 6. This is 5, this is 6. And we are done in 2 minutes and 32 seconds with the first Guess Who puzzle. Now let's jump to the second one. Here we have the second Guess Who puzzle. Normal 6x6 six six Sudoku rules apply. Digits along the thermometer must increase, starting from the round bulb. Digits along the arrow sum to the value in the attached circle. The plain gray line is a crop key line. Adjacent digits along the line are never consecutive and are never in a 1 to 2 ratio. All right. So, thermometer, standard thermo rules. As we move from the bulb to the tip, the digits must increase. So, this digit must be greater than this digit. This digit must be greater than this digit. So on and so forth up the thermometer. Then, standard error rules. These three digits here will sum to the digit in the bulb. And then finally, we have this plain gray line. So this is something I I don't actually remember ever seeing in a gas puzzle. So this is a crop key line. So just as before we had our crop key dots, you know, consecutive, right? White dot is consecutive, black dot is one to two. We are actually not allowed to have that here. So we couldn't have one, two. This wouldn't be allowed. Two, three. We couldn't have three, six. These would break the crop key line here. So that's it. Those are the rules. Let's just jump right into it. All right, so pretty quickly, we get a one, two, three, triple here with a six, and that's just pretty standard, right? The minimum sum of three digits, at least in the set of one to nine, or I guess in this case, one to six, is six, which works out perfectly. Then, 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 two, three, five, I don't know, I don't know how much pencil mark, oh, sorry, of course, the thermometer. Thermometer is a one, two, three, four, five length thermo. It can't end with six, which means it must be five, four, three, two, then one. This can't be three, one, I guess goes somewhere here. I, I, I feel like pencil marking should theoretically come in handy, but I'm not quite sure. So we don't have our column ping here, five, six. But again, remember that roping is um, built into a puzzle like this. So for example, one, one will go somewhere here, right? Um, and actually that gives us one here. This is two. I missed that. One, two gives us three. Three, one, two. This is four. Four, five, six. Five, six. This is one, two. One, two, three. Three, this can't be one. Don't really need that anymore. I guess two, three, five. Let's mark it two, three, five. Because something with this crop key is gonna is gonna work. It's gonna just it's gonna it's gonna happen for us. Um, four, six. Yeah, I'm not not exactly sure. Four, six, two, three, five, six, three. Maybe it's helpful. Three, five, six. Yeah. One, two, four. Ah, three, five, six. Five, six can't go next to each other, which means, right, sorry, one, two just gives us one. That's easy enough. But also what I've figured out, three, five, six, five, six can't go next to each other, and three can't go next to six. So that means it is six in the corner here with a three, five pair. No threes in the corner on this one. Three, five pair. Um, one, this can't be two because no consecutive. Five. Six, sorry, this can't be six. Three, five pair leaves us with two, four. This is four, this is two. That means this must be five, because otherwise it would break. Two, five gives us three, gives us two. Two gives us one, gives us three. One, three, five, two, four, six. Ah, but we know the order. Two, four, two. 4, 6, then 3, 5, 3, 1, 2, 1, 5, 6 will be resolved here. Yep, here. This is 5, 3, this is 6, this is 6, this is 5, this is 5, this is 6, and we are done. 3 minutes and 3 seconds 
with the second Gas Who puzzle. Now on to Gas Who 3. To finish us off with our Gas Who for Gas Who number 3 is a classic 6x6. So just normal 6x6 Sudoku rules apply. So let's jump into the puzzle. All right, so built-in roping, right? So this is three one, three one four. Uh, this is four, two six, uh, two five six. I don't, I don't see the order just yet, but I'm sure it will appear. Then six somewhere here, hmm. two somewhere here. We got to do something better, right? Three four, five one. This is two or six. Four. How do I not just immediately have something? What am I missing? Four. Ah, this is four. Four, five, twos, oh, ones. <laughs> I'm just not, uh, I'm not seeing it. Ah, there we go. Three, one, two. This is one, two, one, two, one, two, five, six, five, six. This is two, five. This can't be six. And this is is this two six? Wow, we have a <laughs> we have almost uh, almost perfect uh, uh, line lineup for our chocolate teapots here. But if we did, then it would be a deadly pattern. So luckily, we will be able to resolve this. We have three here, four here, and five here. Not quite what we needed yet. We are missing six and three right from here. So this is three six. We're missing one five five one. From the column, we do have column ping, so this is four, two, two will do it for us. Uh, one, six, this is one, this is six, and let's just go through it. Six, two, five, two, and five, six, and we are done. One minute and 46 seconds with the third guess, who was a very nice number as the solve counter. After all that, I almost forgot to guess who. So here's the first puzzle, here's the second, and here's the third. The question is, given the day, do I actually think they're from three different setters, or do I think that they're all just from Clover? <sighs> all right, maybe this isn't playing along with, uh, with what we're supposed to be doing here, but I think... I think, I think, I think, I will go with Clover for the first one, Clover for the second one, and Clover for the third one. I guess uh, let me know what you think down below. Anyways, now let's move on to the next puzzle. For our next puzzle from Bill, we have something called Legendary Tippers. Fill each box with the digits 1 to 9, such that no digit is a chess rook's move apart. This is actually the second time we've seen an anti-rook constraint on a Sudoku. The first time was in a super secret daily puzzle that I've I posted. I'll link it right there. And uh, you should check it out because that puzzle is, uh, is quite amazing. It was set by a regular on the channel. So... Um, Please go and give it a try. Anyways, let me explain what a rook constraint is. So, for this Sudoku, we need to fill each box such that the digits 1 to 9 exist in the box, but they need to follow the chess rook's move. So, how does a rook move in chess? Well, rooks move along the ranks and files of the chessboard. Uh, these are the ranks, they look like this, and these are the files, they look like this. So as we're filling out our boxes, we need to make sure that the ranks and files that are associated with that box are being taken into account. So, those are the rules. Let's just jump right into it. Alright, so... So right off the bat, I'm trying to look for maybe pairs or anything like that. What I've noticed is I have the double four here. And this is helpful because it looks over here. Kind of have some X windmill stuff going on. Six goes here. 
I'm actually four. I see four goes here, and actually six goes here. Look at that. Six. Nine. Right, well, we're missing a triple here. This is five. Yeah, this is five. Look at that. X will mill coming coming to the rescue here. This is seven. This is nine. Nine, three, one. Yep, three, one. One. Ah, one goes here. Look at that now. So now we have some like double digits we can work with. Five. Hmm. Five, eight, four. Yeah, no, nothing else there. Um, nines. Oh, interesting. One. Ah, look at that. It's not perfectly X windmill, is it? This would be nine. So let's let's move away from that then, because clearly that's not the way we're supposed to approach this. So what's the triple we're missing here? Two. Two four eight. Ah, and this is two. This becomes oh never mind. <laughs> we get four and eight because of the four here. Then now we're left with a triple again. So let's look at this triple. Two. 7, 8. We can do that. 7, 8. Let's look at, I guess, any of these triples. 3. Ah, look, 3. Okay, so we're getting like a nice pattern here. 3, 5, 3, 5, 9. And look, we can do that. 5, 9. Oh, and 5s actually. We have a few 5s to work with. This is 5. Can we finish off our 5s? We actually can finish off our 5s. Yep, that's all our 5s. This is 9. We're missing 2, 4, which I can't resolve, but that's fine. I'm willing to pencil mark that. We need to place 3 and 7. I'm willing to pencil mark that. 4, 4, 8, 9. Hmm. 4, 8, 9. This can't be 9. This can't be 4. We're getting less digits now. Ah, uh, no. Hmm. So what are we missing here? One, three, three, no, three, three, sorry, one, three, six, eight. Let's just go through all of it. One, three, six, eight. Three, six, eight. All right, that's not quite what we're looking for. Across, we're missing one, three again, as well as seven, eight. So one, three, seven, eight. Seven, three, oh, no, that can't be anything. Seven. Hmm. <laughs> well, I guess we know 7 goes somewhere here, which places 7 here. Maybe this quadruple is more helpful. 1, 2, 6, 9. Ah, 9. There we go. 1, 2, 6. We don't have, but it is a chocolate teapot, so we will... Whoops. We will work through that there. Then the triple we're missing here is three seven eight. Three seven eight. Not quite. One three seven eight. This can't be one three seven. Sorry, how did I miss that? This can't be one three seven. So this is eight. Eight. Sorry, did I have the right thing? Yeah, I do. Okay. This is one. 3, 7, this can't be 7, so this is 1, 3. Here we're missing 1, 2, 3, and 6. 1, 3, I guess this is 2, 6. Ah, where, sorry, where does 8 go in this row? 8 goes here now. So 1, 3, 2, 6. This is 1, 2. And then this can't be 2, so this is 1, 3, 6. <coughs> Excuse me. And this was 1, 3, 6, and 8. Not quite sure. 1, 3, 6, 8. Sorry, it can't be 3. Can't be 8. I was doing okay there, and now I've I've slowed down just a tad. 1, 2, and 9. 9. 2, 9. This can't be 1. 2, 6, 8, 9. This is 2 or 6. Oh, here we go. Sorry. 6 gives us 2, 6. 6, 1, 3 gives us 2, gives us 
9, gives us 1, gives us 6, gives us 8. 8, 1, 3, 1, 1. Oh, I'm missing my givens here. 1, 1, 3, 7. 2, 4, 2, 4, 2. We're missing 3 and ah, 3 and 8, so this is 8. This is 3. 3, 7, 3. 3, 3, 7. 8, give us 8 here. 8 here, 4 here, 9 here. And not quite done, but we're getting there. We're missing 4, 6, and 9. 9, 9 goes here. 4 goes here, 6 goes here, which actually resolves the chocolate teapot. 1, 2, 6. And to finish us off, we need to place 2. We need to place 7. And, oh, 1. <laughs> and we are done. 6 minutes and 18 seconds with Legendary Tippers by Phil Murphy. The second anti-rook Sudoku that I've ever done, and probably not the last. So let's move on to our final puzzle. And for the final puzzle of the April 1st, 2024 Daily Gas, we have Nearly There by Philip Newman. Normal Sudoku rules apply, and that's it. That's it, so let's jump right into it. <clears throat> Excuse me. A little, uh, little horse after all the puzzles here, but let's go through it. So, this is an interesting cell. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, eight. So this is seven, nine. Because like if we look across here, there's not a lot of information, but this sees five, at least five unique digits. If not, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. So if none of these digits repeat here, actually, then theoretically, four, six, all right, two, two, three. All right, so this is going to be something. One, oh, it's just nine. This is nine, so that is something. Nine. Then I guess I should probably pencil mark the rest. What are we missing here? Oh, okay, well it was it was two and nine, but this is two now. And then this is one six. One six. Hmm. We definitely don't have roping here. Too bad. Four four five nine. Not quite enough for uh, for something good there. Nine See, but now this seems kind of silly to even pencil mark this. I guess I'll do it anyways. One, three, four. This can't be one. This can't be three. Seven, nine, one, six. Maybe the quintuple here. Two, three, four, five, nine. One, two, three, four, five, nine. Yeah, that's enough. Uh, one, four, five, though. Five. Five. One, four, five, seven, eight. Hmm. Seven, eight. Maybe not as interesting as I hoped. Four nine three four, three four nine, as well as two six. Ah, two needs to go here. This is two. Six gives us six. This is, this can't be three or nine. So this is four. Four gives us three. Three. Nine. Nine four five. Hmm. One, four, three, five. Ah, so three here, five here. Oh, no, sorry, we already have three, five. One, three, four, five, nine. That's what it is. So this is still three, but sorry, not five. This is nine. Oh, four. 
This can't be four. So this is one five, which is actually a chocolate teapot. One five. I'm blanking. One five. Oh, sorry, it is just one five seven eight. It's just that simple. One five seven gives us eight. Eight gives us one five seven, which we actually can't resolve. One five seven, but but this is just a pair here. Four and six. This is four. This is six. Six gives us one. Look at that. Oh, never mind. I was gonna say I was gonna say that gives us one here or here, but I I just placed one to get that. Um, five, seven, nine, and four. Ah, but where does four go? So this must be four. This must be five. Five gives us five. Gives us one. Gives us seven. One gives us four. Gives us one. Four, five, five, four. Seven, nine. This is eight. Eight, seven, nine. Three, six, eight. Six, eight, six, eight gives us a six, eight pair here. That means that this is nine, this is three. I think that makes sense. Then three, six, eight, nine. Three, eight, nine gives us six. Three, eight, nine. Excuse me, not quite a chocolate teapot. Eight, three, and nine. Then three, five, six, eight. Six. Hmm. Oh, wait. Three, five, six, eight. This must be five. Then this is three, six, eight, which is a chocolate teapot. Three, six, eight. This can't be eight. This can't be three. This can't be six. Oh, but we have, we get a three, eight pair again. So three, eight pair. So let's look across here. One, two, four, seven. Four goes here. One, two, seven. Right, one, two, seven. And then here with the three, eight pair, it's once again, one, two, a one, two, seven, nine. Nine, hmm, not quite. Oh wait, sorry, where does six go? The only place six can go here is there. So that's six, that's eight. Eight makes this, three makes this eight. Three makes this nine, eight. Eight, yeah, okay, it all works out. Makes this six, makes this three. Nine gives us seven, nine. And we're we're doing it, folks. One, two, seven. I don't see it. Let's just pencil mark it. One, two, seven. Not going to hurt anyone. One, two, seven, and nine. Two, seven, nine, where this can't be one. I already knew that, though. Quadruple here, maybe. One, two, six. Oh, one, two, five, six. Five, six, six. Ah, six goes here. It's actually just plain old Sudoku. One, two, five. Oh, one, sorry. One, two, five. Then three, two, seven, eight. Ah, here we go. Eight, seven. No, no, not seven, eight. Whoa. Five, seven. This is seven. This is five. Seven gives us seven here. Seven gives us seven here. One, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven. Again, seven, eight, nine. Nine, and then seven, eight. Eight gives us seven here, eight here. Seven gives us seven here. Seven, one, two, nine, nine, two, two, one, two, two, one, and finally nine. And we are done. Seven minutes and 49 seconds with Nearly There by Philip Newman. So that was it for the April 1st special. We had uh, 10 puzzles in total. We had the slow thermoentropic lines. We had the three killer Sudokus. We had uh, the, I guess, build your own Sudoku. We had the three gas who. 
we had the legendary tippers puzzle with the anti-rook constraints and then we finish us off with a classic sudoku so with all of that i hope you enjoyed and thank you for watching